System Manager 8.3 release provides a user with a new disk summary and storage pool management window. The workflows to create capacity and flash pool aggregates have been greatly enhanced in this release. In this demonstration video, we will look at System Manager 8.3 disk summary window, creating a new storage pool and a flash pool aggregate. Expand the cluster hierarchy in the left navigation pane. In the navigation pane, click Storage Disks. The disk summary window provides information on disks in unassigned and faulted state. The disks in Disk Summary tab are grouped by disk type like SATA, SAS, MSATA and others. The graph displays information for each disk type like spare disks, aggregate and root disks and root aggregates for capacity disks and information about flash pool aggregates, capacity available in storage pool, spare disks for SSD disks. The details panel below provides additional information about spare disks in terms of the disk type, the node, disk size, RPM, checksum, spare disks and the spare capacity in a tabular format. A storage pool is a collection of SSD disks. You can use System Manager to combine SSDs to create a storage pool. This enables you to share the SSDs between an HA pair for allocation to two or more flash pool aggregates at the same time. In the navigation pane, click Storage Pools. In the Storage Pool window, click Create. Specify the name for the storage pool. Select the disk size. and specify the number of disks. Click Create to create a storage pool. The storage pool window displays detailed information about the selected storage pool, such as the name, health, storage type, disk count, total cache, spare cache, used cache, and allocation unit. You can create a flash pool aggregate to provide storage for one or more volumes by using System Manager. In the navigation pane, click Aggregates. Click Create in the Aggregate window. In the Create Aggregate dialog box, specify the name of the aggregate. Select the disk type. and the number of HDD disks to include. Click Change to modify the RAID configuration of the aggregate. Specify the RAID type and the RAID group size. Note the enhanced RAID group visualization. Click Save. As we are creating a flash pool aggregate, click Use flash pool cache with this aggregate. Select Storage Pools as the cache source. Select the storage pool from which cache can be obtained. And specify the cache size. Note that the cache size can be allocated in units of 25, 50, 75 and 100%. The RAID type can also be modified if required. Click Create. Confirm the cache usage from the storage pool. The flash pool aggregate is created with a specified configuration and added to the list of aggregates in the aggregate window. 